Hi, welcome back into the Mid Norfolk Garden. I'm just doing this little follow up video about mulching. Kate did a garden shot this afternoon when I was putting this stuff down, and I just thought she's going to cover why you mulch and why you may want to choose to do so, and why we chose to do it on this borders. But I'm just going to run you over the practicalities of what it actually took to get these borders top dressed with this rather nice, well rotted compost which is rotted or used spent mushroom compost and you can see the difference in the texture this was a really nice product we found it's a product that's sold in sacks by a company in the uk called mr muck they're an online internet company and they specialized in garden composts comes in individual sacks we ordered initially a 40 sack load comes on a pallet Weighs about 750 kilograms when it's delivered, the 40 sack pallet. Cost about 200 pounds, just under 200 pounds. That was including the delivery. And when it comes, this one I've just put down this evening, you can see it's attracting loads of flies. There is a manurial smell to it. It's not a bad smell. It's a, a well rotted, horsey, composty type smell. But it definitely is manurial for the first about a week to 10 days dark, friable, really well rotted. It's a, a lovely medium to, to actually work with and spread out. Quite dry and friable, so it breaks up nicely. These have just gone down. These borders have been done about seven to 10 days ago, and you can just see the difference in the nature of the material. The darkness has gone. It's starting to wash down into the soils and some of the straw material, which is nicely broken up and shredded just coming to the surface no smell to this bed at all and it's worked really well for a top dressing as a soil improver it's got a lot of organic matter in it and that's the main reason we wanted to put it onto this topsoil that came out of one of our paddocks and hadn't been worked it wasn't friable it had very little organic material in lots of weed seed in it potentially so we wanted to get a top dressing on to try and prevent that from all germinating at once we know as we plant into it we're going to carry some of that seed to the surface and be weeding this for years to come i should expect but we also want to have it on the top so that as we dig down it gets carried into the the lower layers for drainage and soil improvement been really impressed with the product as i say it's not cheap i had to order two lots of 40 bags each one of these borders is approximately five by six meters and on my reckoning you need to allow when you're estimating how much to, to purchase around a sack for a square meter i use 20 bags on each of these borders and in places particularly on the back borders which are just a little bit wider i was putting it on a little thinner than i would have ideally liked to as a weed suppressant top dressing so if i'd had probably another 10 or 15 sacks i could have been happier with the depth that I was achieving on this mulch but overall 200 pounds twice 400 pounds to top dress four borders 100 pounds a border I know that sounds quite expensive and I could have probably been more patient and worked a, a cheaper organic matter such as a, a local horse manure or some other compost that I could have bought in bulk but this was just so convenient and got the job done when it is delivered, let me just show you the pallet that it arrived on. Here we go, the remnants of my pallet delivery. It's a full-size pallet that it comes on, 750 kilograms. As soon as they tried to move that with a pallet uh, trolley, a pump trolley, it didn't move over our gravel and got dumped curbside. Luckily for me, rather than having to deal with it immediately, I had one of those on site and the building team just picked it up with that and moved it around here to the back. So all I had to do was put it into barrows and three bags in a barrow was literally a full load on a wheelbarrow. Took it as full sacks onto the border as you saw and opened it in situ and spread it. But be prepared for when it does arrive if you bring the 40 sacks on site. It's too heavy to do much with and is going to be dumped curbside. They were very good. They let me know when the delivery was coming and it came on time and I had a text notification to say that the dispatch had actually left prior to it arriving later that morning. So I'm very pleased with it. Um, I think it's good value for money. I think it's really going to allow us to get these borders going really nicely this year and get some decent soil and roots into that soil so that these plants grow away. Our next job for these borders now is to get some of the big potted roses that we've rescued from around the garden as the build's gone on. And we're going to get those into 
these positions now we can start to see it coming together the one rose that's been moved earlier with the digger and a massive root ball is now really galloping away just look at that beautiful fresh growth coming out of this we're watering it regularly and will do for the remainder of this summer got a bit of a drought on here in norfolk already with very little limited rain in april and so far just one evening's decent rainfall throughout the first almost one third of may so everything really is having to be watered and you can see the hose pipe there case watering everything that's been moved and planted into these borders but it's getting away nicely the gravel's being thickened up gradually when i see an uh, idle builder's apprentice i get him on a barrel with a shower shovel and he's brought all this round for us this afternoon so we've got a bit of a a beach resort going on here which is lovely actually gives us a beautiful view through these plants just look at that it just we didn't notice these before but it just pops with the azaleas in the background the gravel in the foreground and then these euphorbias doing their lime green beautiful display i've repeated the planting just under the flowering prunus and just to the side of that we've got that lime green leaved mock orange which just picks it up as well but having those on the back of a beach didn't notice them last year from this aspect at all but we're now using this as a real little sun trap gives us a whole new vista onto the gardens the orchard beyond and it's coming on very nicely i'm very pleased with this area formal garden don't miss the old swimming pool one little bit would be green and full of floating hedgehogs by this time of year in any case thanks for watching